How's it going guys? So today I'm back with a response video from my good friend Nintendrol. Now he asked a handful of us, what are some franchises that we simply ignored just because, you know, we couldn't get into them or, you know, we just weren't interested in them. Now please keep in mind with some of the franchises I actually selected that I didn't just pick them to stand out or be unique or anything like that. Now these are personally some franchises that I just really could never get into. Now without waiting, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first franchise I'm going to talk about today is the Zelda series. As you can see, I had them on the NES, Super Nintendo, N64, the 3DS, the GameCube. Um, but this is honestly one franchise that I could never really get into. Now, I'm not saying the Zelda series is bad whatsoever. I know it's you know, an amazing game that a lot of people really love. Personally, I played the first one on the NES and I absolutely love that game. I recently completed it about a year ago and I can honestly go back to the game whenever and always have a good time playing it. But after the first one on the NES, I really have tried, you know, playing Wind Waker. I've tried the one on Super Nintendo, I've tried Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and I simply just cannot get into those games. I'll sink about a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour into them, but honestly after that, it's not enough to really grasp my attention and make me keep playing. Now I may have to come back and revisit that series very soon because I would like to pick up a copy of Breath of the Wild. Everyone I've told, you know, that I'm really not a big fan of the Zelda series mentioned that that game really will change my mind. Alright, so the next one we're talking about is the Final Fantasy series. As you can see here, I have 2 and 3 on the Super Nintendo and I have 7 on PS1. Now, it's not that I don't like the Final Fantasy series, it's just I've never honestly tried playing them. Now, I've had these games for about 3 or 4 years now, maybe even longer, uh, but the only reason I really have them is because I came across them in a pretty decent lot. Now, if you read in the back of Final Fantasy 7, it is in quotes as quite possibly the greatest game ever made. Um, even reading that, it's not enough to really make me want to pop it into my PS1. It's Honestly, I think because I'm not a big fan of single-player RPGs. I have a long history with playing MMOs on my computer. It's, you know, it's something I did since I was probably, you know, 9 or 10 years old. So it's very difficult for me to, you know, grasp onto a single-player RPG. Now, that's something that may change down the road because, you know, I would love to honestly visit this series and really get a chance to play them. I know a lot of people are doing playthroughs of them, and they look pretty fun, but I think if I had someone, you know, sitting with me watching me play, that would, you know, probably change my mindset on it. Um, but until then, you know, maybe I'll give it you know, a month and I may end up popping these games in. Now the next one may come as a shock to you as well because these are some of the best games ever made for the NES and Super Nintendo, and that is the Mega Man series. Now I don't want to call myself a lazy gamer or anything, but with the Mega Man series, one thing that's boggled my mind is the order that you have to go in from when you pick up the certain suit and, who to, uh, and which boss to move on to next. That was just something that always kind of, I want to say like, annoyed me, but always made me just not want to play. Now I know I can just go online and find the order of the bosses that you're supposed to kill and I can honestly probably sit through and actually play the game, but that's just something that I have yet to honestly do. Now I probably spent anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes on either you know Mega Man 2, Mega Man X, or X3, uh, but to be honest I just could never really get into those. So now you guys may be thinking, you know, why am I picking a lot of Nintendo franchises? I could honestly probably do this with Sega, Playstation, and Xbox as well. But the next one I'm going to be talking about is Metroid. Now, I played Metroid Prime back in the day when I first got my GameCube, and I thought this game was honestly pretty freaking cool. Um, but the Metroid series as a whole, you know, it's not that I don't like platformers, I know I just went over Mega Man. I just could never get into it. I've popped them in, I play them, you know, for 15, 20 minutes, but it's just something that I'm not a big fan of. Now, I don't know if by the end of this video you guys can probably tell me, you know, what my issue is with games. I play a lot of really stupid games, but I also love playing a lot of online games. I love playing games, you know, with people, you know, I love Mario Party, I love Smash Brothers, I love fighting games, uh, I love playing games like Overwatch or any MMO out there, but honestly, single player games, like, I just, I just can't get into them, it's just something that I've never been able to do. Now, I say I want an audience when I play games, but when I play games like Fallout 3, you know, that game, you know, requires, you know, it's a single player game, but when I had someone watching me, it was, it was you know, a little bit better. Also, same thing with a game like Dead Space. I completely destroyed that game and I absolutely loved it, but at the same time, I did have my fiance with me while I was playing that. Now, I personally think, you know, when you're playing single player games, it's always fun to have someone with you because there may be things you may have missed, or, you know, you may be able to talk a little bit more about the story with someone else, as opposed, you know, just trying to get from point A to point B, you know, completing the goals as you're going along, you know, not really having much to really talk about by the time you're done with it. Now, for when I actually hop into the Metroid series, I want to say the first one I'm probably going to go with is going to be Super Metroid. Now, the reason is, is because it's highly recommended by so many people. You know, same thing with, you know, the one for NES. Um, but that one, it just stands out a bit more. I hear that, you know, the audio is absolutely amazing, and as well as the graphics, too. 
Now, I know I've picked four franchises so far. You know, I talked about Metroid, Zelda, Final Fantasy, and Mega Man. I kind of wanted to change up this ending a little bit. Now, there are two Super Nintendo games out there that are always highly rated and highly recommended by so many people out there. And those two games are actually Super Mario RPG and Chrono Trigger. Now, the reason I never got into Mario RPG or Chrono Trigger is very similar to the reason why I never got into Final Fantasy, Mega Man, Metroid, or any games like that. It's just because I'm not a big fan of single player games. I'd personally rather sit down in my futon, you know, with a few friends over playing a copy of Smash Brothers, you know, Mario Party, or anything crazy like that. I could play single player games when I'm streaming just because I have the audience, I have the people to talk to who can enjoy the game with me. Um, you know, like I said, I love MMOs because I love being able to group up with people and have fun, you know, and complete goals, you know, not just by myself. Now before I wrap up this video, I do want to mention that I am no way saying these games are bad whatsoever. It's just personally, I just never could really get into them. And also at the same time, I don't want you guys thinking to have a really bad taste in games. Now to wrap up this video, I want to say thank you to Nintendo for tagging me to do this. I really hope we can still be friends after the games I picked. But if you guys did like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up in the comments field below. Let me know some of the franchises that you can never really get into. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so so you can check out future content. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great week hunting.